What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is P.S. Compulsion signing in here, a.k.a. Prince Anthony. And if you guys missed the last episode, you guys got to go check it out. It was my first time destroying the Hall of Fame CPU. I mean, I was getting green lights everywhere, bruh. Everybody on the squad was getting green lights, especially my man Josh Jackson. And with that huge blowout win over the New Orleans Pelicans, we are one game above 500. 8 and 7 to start this NBA season on a three game winning streak and right behind the Seattle Supersonics in the standings. We are fifth in the Western Conference right now. The Seattle Supersonics are fourth. I cannot wait to go against them, bro. We're just like two months away from that game. But up next, we're going to be facing off against the Milwaukee Bucks. But before we face off against the Bucks, just showing you guys the Eastern Conference standings. The New Orleans Pelicans are no longer in the number one spot in the Eastern Conference. That spot belongs to the Indiana Pacers and I can't wait to play the Pacers because the Pacers got back Paul George he resigned with them in the offseason if you guys don't remember so now they got Victor Oladipo, Sabonis, Miles Turner, PG came back that's gonna be a lit team to face off against but anyways our opponents that we're gonna be facing off against next is the six-seeded Milwaukee Bucks welcome ladies and gentlemen to fabulous Las Vegas Nevada we are going to be facing off against the Greek Freak for the first time on NBA 2K19. And this game should definitely be lit because I see a lot of people saying that here on this 2K, Giannis Antetokounmpo is really overpowered. I mean, he has a 94-95 overall, so despite records, this game should definitely be lit. Milwaukee Bucks, Las Vegas Royales, let's go Vegas. It's Bledsoe trying to drive on Colin Sexton. And he pulls up in his face and, of course, gets the shot to go. Once I see the Hall of Fame CPU take a jump shot, I automatically assume that it's going in bro but time for me to switch up the tempo and push the pace see if we can score our first bucket of the game running that beautiful pick and roll game right past the defenders and taking it all the way to the basket Colin Sexton with the beautiful jam I'm about to try to swing the ball and get it down low oh come on bro Giannis attended Kumo in this long wingspan and now Colin Sexton is cold they get it inside but I quickly recover there we go Jaron Jackson Jr. with the nice block. I don't understand how I could miss like one shot and get cold, but I find Jaron Jackson Jr. cutting. He can't get it to go. Offensive rebound and put back. Step your game up. Rock done about to run that pick and roll. He ain't going nowhere. I got his help. I got his help. Matter of fact, no, I'm not going to come up. Because if I came up, he would have just passed it inside to Zeller, and Zeller would have got a wide open layup. So it was a lose lose situation. It's really hard defending the pick and roll. But I'm running the pick and roll myself inside to Tice, and he lays it up. And let's go running that pick and roll. Driving to the basket. I'm right there. That should have been a block, bro. How did he get that to go? Come on. Like the type of shots the Hall of Fame CPU makes is really, really annoying, bro. But Bledsoe misses the free throw. Let's go. Time to push the tempo. Getting the ball up ahead to Rose. Here's Wade. I am not driving to the basket. I'm pulling up. Let's go. Let's see what Middleton is about to do. Is he about to run the pick and roll himself? They don't got Giannis out here for now. So I got to take advantage of that. There we go. Excellent defense. Nice steal by Jordan Bell. Driving to the basket. Getting into the corner. Oh, man. Forget it. I just ruined that whole fast break. I'm going to just keep. Matter of fact, no. I'm going to try driving with Troy Daniels. I'm here inside. I'm scared. I'm going to get blocked. I'm going to kick it out. <laughs> There's Run that pick screen. and roll again. Here's Andre Robeson kicking to it out to Tice. Excellent Shot patience and ball movement Neil results in a three. Look at this defense. What is he doing? What you doing, Henson? What are you doing? Shot clock violation. Let's go. We're only down by four points here in the second quarter. It's time to turn up, bro. Let's go. Hurry up and throw me the ball. Throwing it into D. Wade. About to run that pick and roll as always. Nope, don't need it. Driving all the way to the basket. Dwayne Wade lays it up and then. Only down. Brogdon. He tried to run that pick and roll. Trying to come inside. Excellent defense so far. What you doing, Booker? Spinning? That should have been a block. Of course, he's not going to get that to go. Excellent defense by Jordan Bell. He's on fire. Here comes Andre Robeson. I'm going to take my time, bro. I'm going to take my time. The Hall of Fame defense really got me scared to drive, bro. I'm not trying to get blocked, but moving the ball. Who's this wide open? Too much space. Troy Daniels gives us a one point. His blood, so... Stepping back. Is he actually going to shoot? He did and can't get the shot to go. Oh, I thought he was going to get the offensive rebound for sure. But here comes Josh Hart. Bucks up by six. They are not missing right now. So we got to take our time on every single possession. We got to make sure we score and I pick up my dribble. Come on, Jaron Jackson Jr. There we go. I get it inside to him. That's why I wanted this entire time. And he lays on. We really need a bucket. Wait, this is too much space. Why don't I just pop this jump shot with Triple J? And he knocks it down. Come on, bro. We need to get our offense rolling because right now the Bucks are not missing. Especially the Greek freak. 
Let's see what they got. Oh, that's my steal right there. That's my steal. I knew they was going to get him the ball. Here comes Andre Robeson getting into the corner. I'm going to take my time. I am not trying to get blocked. Here's Derrick Rose to the basket. And one. There we go. That's how you come back or try to make a comeback at least. And he knocks down the free throw. And all we really need to stop. Don't let Giannis get enough. I'm bringing that help. I'm right there. And he drives in traffic and gets that shot to go. Come on. He only has 14 points in this game. It felt like he has like at least 25 the way that he's scoring. We're running that pick and roll. Driving to the basket. Derek Rose. That should have been a foul. That's my rebound. Oh, my goodness. You really got to be kidding me, bro. But here comes Giannis again. Again, I'm making sure and bring that help because I know he's about to drive. Look at this. Giannis trying to run that pick and roll. I'm bringing that help. I jumped too early and he bangs it in. I'm going to have to call a timeout. I keep forgetting that you could call a timeout no matter which team has the ball on like a dead ball. So I called a timeout when the Milwaukee Bucks get the ball back. Well, I intentionally found. Then I called a timeout, but here comes Tice with the beautiful steal all the way to the basket and one. There we go. We need to keep this game as close as possible. Can Tice knock down the free throw? Perfect release. We're only down by three. Jabari Parker inside. See, it doesn't matter what type of defense you play, bro. I'm really getting frustrated. I'm about to wave the white flag. We're down by 12 points here to start the fourth quarter. Still running that pick and roll. Oh, who's this wide open? Josh Hart. Good looking at three. And knocks it down. And we cut the lead down to single digits. Down by nine points. Matter of fact, let me not give up. P.S. Compulsion is never out of a game, no matter who I'm playing. Oh, look at that defense. Look at that defense. There we go. Here comes Jordan Bell. I try to get it inside. Of course, they deflect the ball, but Tice gets a wide open three. Bang. I feel like they're going to go to Giannis on every possession. I'm bringing that double team right there. They kick it out. Bledsoe, I'm right there in his face. It doesn't matter, though. Thanks, David. If you give the Hall of Fame Bledsoe CPU at least year, a little bit of space, they are going to knock down the shot. I get it inside to Jordan Here's Bell. Here's Bell. I need a quick two points. There we go. I'll take it. Jaron Jackson Jr. cutting. I couldn't get it inside to Triple J. Here comes Giannis. It doesn't matter. He's going to score in this possession. Look at that. How did I not know? The Bucks are on a 10-2 run. The lead goes right back up to 12. Yeah, I'm really thinking about waving the white flag. Now run that pick and roll. Getting it inside to Len. Alex Len throwing down that jam. It's still a 10-point game. Setting pin downs for Giannis. And he's probably going to drive after these pin downs. Look at this. Where is the defense? I'm bringing that double team. Doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter, bro. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. This dude is really beasted. Like, you can't stop him when he drives to the basket. He has Sexton all the way to the rim. I get another Maybe if we could get one last stop, we're still in this game. And knock down a three. That's why I'm trying to bring in Troy Daniels. Well, let's see what they got in this possession. They're going to Brogdon. Shot clock winding down. Here's Malcolm Brogdon. They kick it out to Yansa Tendakumbo. He has to launch a contested. Oh, come on. There is no way. Did you guys just see that? Oh, my goodness. All right, running that pick and roll with Jaron Jackson Jr. I'm not going nowhere. I get a good look at a three, and I can't get the shot to go. But Jaron Jackson Jr. with the rebound and put back. But this game is looking like it's over. Maybe if I could get one more stop. Just one more stop. I'm going to jack that. Just one last stop, bro. Let's see. Playing that man-to-man -man defense. Dean right up on Giannis Attendokounmpo, making sure they don't get nothing. They're going to Chris Milton. No, they're going right back to the Greek freak. He's on fire. He's on takeover mode right now. Anderson against Running down the clock. About to run that pick and roll. I'm about to bring that help. I got that help right there. Giannis pulls up in the double team, and I quit, bro. I quit. Talk about overpowered. What is this? What am I really watching right now? This is by far one of the most frustrating games that I ever played on 2K19. Yeah, like, I don't want to play 2K19 again after playing this game. Like, are you really serious? Giannis could not miss anything. Bruh, forget about the box score for the rest of the team. All you gotta know is that Giannis attend the Kumbo. This dude went nuts. 25 points, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 3 steals, 1 block shot, 10 of 15 from the field. When this dude drove to the basket, it was an automatic 2 points. Like, I couldn't stop him from scoring at all. Then when I normalized play to simulation stats, he had 43 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists, Five steals, two block shots. Frustrating game, bro. Just frustrating all around. And a lot of the other role players was knocking down three pointers. I couldn't stop them from not hitting three pointers because, of course, the Hall of Fame CPU always makes their threes. 
frustrating game, bro. Really a frustrating game. And this game, nobody on my team really played well, so I can't really be that upset. But Giannis is really overpowered. But looking at the box score for our squad, Jordan Bell had 10, Colin Sexton had 8, Daniel Tice had 13, and those were our leading scorers. When I normalized play to simulation stats, Tice had 21, Jordan Bell had 17, Triple J had 14, Colin Sexton had 13. Josh Hart and D-Wade both had 10 points. Oh, and Troy Daniels as well. He was a pretty good spark off the bench for us. Oh my goodness, I'm just frustrated, bro. Like, after a game like this, Giannis could not miss in the fourth quarter. This dude drove to the basket shooting in double teams like he's Kobe Bryant. Like, bro, what is really going on? But with this loss, we fall right back at the 500 mark. We're 8-8 eight eight to start this NBA season, which still isn't too bad. We're still in the playoff picture, but at the same time, when we're facing off against good players like Giannis or James Harden or LeBron James, we need to make sure and lock them up at all costs. Anyways, let's bounce back from this L and try to pile up on some more Ws. We need to get a win streak going.